Hello everyone, in this video we will be showing you how to integrate GitHub repo with Test Trigger Test Suite. We will show you how every time you push something into the repo, it will trigger a completed test for the Test Trigger Test Suite. So let's go ahead and get started. So we've already created this test repo right here, and we also already created the test suite in test trigger. We only have one test case for demonstration purposes today. So the first thing that we need to do to integrate it with GitHub is to open our CI CD integrations tab. So we're going to go ahead and open that. So in this tab, we already have a pre-populated script. The script consists of several pods. The first command we see here executes the test of the test suite. It contains the correct test suite authentication token, which is actually unique to the test suite. And it's already populated for us for the specific test suite. After this command is executed, the test suite will sleep for 10 seconds and then the loop will run and check the results of the retest. So perfect, the retest is done and we will exit with either a zero if it was successful or a one if it was not successful. So as we can see here, this was successful. So next, all we need to do is to copy this script. Um, we do not copy the first line just because we won't need it. So we're gonna go ahead and copy the script Perfect, so now let's go back to our repo and click on the actions, and then we will set up a workflow. We will just be naming this workflow test trigger. And then we will not need this pull request right here, so we're just gonna go ahead and erase that. So the script has already been pre-populated for us. So we will remove any actions we don't need here. We can just go ahead and erase them. Here is a multiple line script. So instead of this, we will actually just paste our script that we copied from the test suite. We will just need to tab this over here to fix that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Perfect. So now we can commit this new workflow and we can change this name to test trigger as well. Great, now you can see that the run is in progress over here on our test trigger tab. We will just have to wait a few seconds until it's done. Perfect, it's done. Um, you can see here that the test case has been completed. And this workflow is also finished and it's all green. So let's go ahead and inspect the results so we can see what it did. The first thing we see here is this curl command to start the test, and that's when we started getting the results. The first check we see here was a 228, which means it was in progress, and the final result was a 200, which means it finished successfully, and that's why we saw all green on our test suite. And now we can see that we don't have anything in the repo, all we have is this test trigger YML file. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can trigger this from our command line. So let's go ahead and pull those changes. Perfect. So now we added this render file.
So now we can see that we push this file and that there is a new file here. So now we can see that the workflow has started right here. And then we can also see that the retest has started as well. Now that the test is complete and the job is done and completed. We can also see that everything here is showing up green now, which is great. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you everyone for watching. Be sure to check out testergert.com for any additional questions.